Hello guys, Jamming Student 3 here, and I'm here to talk about the state of Warriors as I've come back to World of Warcraft and seen. Uh, I opened the spell tree, you know, went through, through into the uh, talents and stuff, and uh, you know, I, I, went, I went through these talents and I don't really like them, so I'm going to tell you what I've been really running uh, as far as Tank Warrior goes. Uh, I know I had a reset scroll in here. Um, gotta find it. Anyway, how are how are you guys' Thanksgiving? Was it was it was it was it cool? Was it okay? Was that weird uncle show up? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, let's get started. So basically, you know, obviously defender of the land, gotta expect that. And we have this new tank talent, which is I've seen, which is probably not new to you guys, but. It's Lightning Burns, and this looks like it's going to be your main aggro-pulling ability. No longer, I don't believe, you don't have Faint anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Offhand, Amazon Grease. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Lightning Burns. So, you have Ankle Slash. Charging can cause a 10% slow condition on your target. The last 6 seconds. I wouldn't spec this if you were PvE, like, you know, dungeon type tank. This is a more of a PvP type spec, so I don't spec that. Um, there is still Warpath here. Or Corrosion or whatever. It was Warpath a while ago. I don't know why they changed all the names of it. But when you parry or dodge any attack, you have 100% chance to trigger the Corrosion effect on yourself, increasing your melee critical chance by 15% of the total of your dodge chance and parry chance. Alright. This is how I see 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 this I would get it for the simple fact that those shield slap crits can add so much DPS to a boss and I mean who, what tank doesn't love seeing tank numbers so if it's given to you then take it cause really if you're I'm, what I'm looking at this the only thing you can really get out of being a tank because you're going to be using a lot of morale on keeping you know your buffs up mm -hmm. and stuff like that so you won't really have that much morale to play around with, guys. So this spec is going to be a lot of guard-oriented. So I spec 5 into Corrosion. Uh, Vitality Rallying Cry. Now, what's different between Rallying Cry is it lasts way longer than it did. And it has on a way lo like less cooldown. So basically, you have Rallying Cry for a forever, basically, as long as you keep it up. Um, so yeah, obviously, Rallying Cry. And you have Shield Smackdown, which is just Shield Slap. And it's a Shield Master. Your critical hit has a 20% chance to reset the reset the cooldown of your Shield Smackdown. Uh, so we're going to do that. Has a 100% chance. Um, we got Earthquake, which is basically Ankle Slash. And instantly attacks all enemies' targets within 5 meters. Interrupts all spell casting and deals damage equal to a 50% of your attack power. Stuns all enemies' targets within 6 meters for three seconds um I don't I don't use it or I, well, I don't know why I, I use it and for a simple fact of this you have uh, no that warpath my bad uh, shattering earth the earthquake skill now decreases the melee attack speed of your target by 5% and uh, it lasts for 45 seconds but it's 15% which is quite a lot actually if you're doing a boss you know just that that little you know fifteen percent chance it you know slows down a uh, uh, person's or well, a boss's attack by like my baby like two two like two seconds you know so it's you know it's 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 not useless actually so we're gonna spec shattering earth uh, ultra defender and it this is increases your chances of blocking by twenty for twenty five percent and lasts for eight seconds and requires the shield to be equipped. Basically, you're gonna, this is going to be your main go-to uh, uh, buff. Um, you basically have 25% chance to block all the time. Um, and plus, it increases your shield smackdown damage by 25% when it's, you know, up. So, I mean, come on, guys. That's, that's a no-brainer. Uh, staunch Defender. Your normal critical attack can trigger the Staunch Defender effect and increase your block value by 5%. And uh, lasting for 20 seconds. Um, yeah, so um, 
this is this is how I feel. If there's a buff as a tank class, take it. You know? Um so I mean, you know. Sick. So now you have Guardian Stance, which you know we always get. Now here's a topic that I've been hearing a lot of and uh it's uh bottomless void. It absorbs 100% of the damage you receive for 30 seconds. The void will cease after it absorbs damage equal to more than 95% of your block value. Now, you're probably like, whoa, that's crazy. It absorbs a lot of stuff. It doesn't, guys. It basically only absorbs about 1,000 damage. <laughs> um, it doesn't really do much. So, And people will probably still try to argue, hey... But it increases your healing. But it's going to stay up for literally one second. So that buff that it gives to healing really won't be that crazy of a buff to you. So I don't really use it, to be honest with you guys. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we got more stuff so basically we're gonna see uh basically what's what's going on with this so um have any everything spec here I'm making sure I don't I don't forget anything uh sorry guys uh yeah that's about it you know this is pretty much useless and change that oh yeah we don't need this uh go battle cry since it's there and we got uh blood horn Intensifies the battle cry and increase your attack power by 50%. However, the skill school down time is increased to 35 seconds. But that changes to 20 seconds. Um, now you have Defense Breaker. Just spike this until you get the other ones. And we got Boiling Blood. Permanently increases your hit rate by 4%. Normal attacks have a chance to cause a fear of God's effect. Increasing your power chance and parry chance. Nope, we don't want that because it's so pointless. Um, this is, this is pretty much how I feel about these talents. I mean, uh, I mean, I haven't really tried the damage. I'll, I'll, I'll see what it, I'll see, I'll see what it does, but, you know. Alright, this is what I do the twenty percent chance. Alright. So this is basically what I'm spec. Uh if you have any questions basically of you know why I spec for a few things or anything, just leave comments uh, below the video and I'll get to you guys. But uh, that's basically this is the most viable spec I've done. One well, more that I found. Uh I mean tanks are really not that uh, shall I say, complicated now. Um, they actually, like, gave us a hardball, you know, they, they get, took some of my buffs and replaced them with garbage ones. So, I mean, that that's just how it is, and I guess this is how it's, excuse me, that's just how it's gonna have to be. So, um, if you have any questions, like I said, Comment them below, and as always, Shaving Stone 3 is out.